Hey guys, a few days ago I created this. This is my rendition of one of Pablo Picasso's early self-portraits and it got me thinking to start a new series of portraits of artists. In today's video, you'll see the second piece in this entire series. There will probably be five pieces in this series and I'm probably only gonna do videos for half of that, but I will be showing you guys all the portraits, so I will have a little intro like this or an outro where I talk to you about any pieces I didn't make a video about just to catch you guys up on that. For Picasso, I just knew that I wanted to do geometric shapes as a nod to cubism because if you don't know, he is basically the father of cubism. That's what he's most well known for, but he was very skilled in other forms of art as well. It is definitely one of my favorite pieces I've ever done. So I'm really excited to show you guys my journey working on this whole artist project that I have in mind. So let's go make some art! I like painting good looking people because I like good bone structure. I loathe my own face and go on painting it only because I haven't got any other people to do. While this is how Francis Bacon saw himself, I personally found his face very interesting just because of how round and wide his face was. Francis Bacon was alive from 1909 to 1992. He's known for contorting faces and bodies in his portrait paintings and for his dark subject matter. His paintings are intriguing, unsettling, and some may say disturbing. Some common recurring themes and subjects in his work include carcasses, crucifixions, and screaming mouths. Arguably one of the most poignant pieces in his body of work is the triptych he made in commemoration of his lover's suicide. He was known to be an alcoholic and a masochist. He had many tumultuous, abusive relationships with men, one of whom would regularly rip up his paintings and even threw Francis out a window once. However, he wasn't always the victim. In his later years, he was known to be sadistic and neglectful and even drove one of his lovers to suicide. It was not until two days after his lover's suicide that they reported the dead body. This was because Francis was set to have a big exhibition. This was the pinnacle of his career and he didn't want anything to ruin it. So he carried on the exhibition stoically with some of the hotel staff aware. Taking into account his dark history and art, I chose to depict him in a sort of villainous expression in greys and black.
When I think of Francis Bacon, I think of the color orange because many of his paintings make use of orange as a background. Another iconic feature of Bacon's works is his heavy use of expressionist brushstrokes coming down from the top of the canvas. I'm not directly imitating those brushstrokes, but this is my own spin on it. This is what we ended up with. There we go, this is Mr. Francis Bacon, or Francis Bacon. I did touch him up a little bit after recording, so I just added some scruffito in his hair, and then I added white to this shine over here. And I also blended this out a bit more to make it a little darker over here, and a little bit smoother. But that's about it, and yeah, that's the final piece. I am happy with how this came out. And I think he looks great next to his friend Pablo. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.